hey you guys how y'all doing welcome back to my channel divine and Gift gifted i am shay what's up everyone okay um just I'm, I'm here to do a quick daily energy check-in for you guys energy check-in from your guys messages from your guys your answers from your angels and your guides okay so let's hop right in spirit messages do you have for the collective when it comes to the energy coming towards them current energy that they're in what they need to know what they need to know how they need to know it messages from your guides you guys this is a collective reading so it may or may not resonate with you take what you need leave what you don't okay don't forget to hit the thumbs up button subscribe and the notification bell okay so let's see so overall energy for the collective messages for the collective is coming in messages from your guides what your guides want you to know what action should you take what's going on okay so if you're looking for confirmation it's the ace of swords clarity truth understanding inner knowing um an energy of uh feeling victorious is on its way to you with this king with this ace of swords energy i also feel like spirit may be about to provide some type of truth or some type of understanding to a situation okay now the death card is here now let me see mm-hmm mm mm-hmm three of wands what else so this is this is the, the energy that you are currently leaving out of because you've been plant, trying to be patient, okay? And you've been really waiting. And your patience and wait may have looked as if there was a delay or or there was many setbacks because it's the death card with the three of wands, okay? But I do see spirit here coming in to help and assist you. Four of wands here. So you guys could have definitely been heavily guarded, okay? Um, your your defenses could have been up and because you were going through what you were going through. So it's like you kind of was blocking out spirit at the same time. Yes, you were blocking out people. You were shutting down emotionally. You were um, feeling like you had to fight or compete or you, you listen, nine of swords. You were just, you was, you was highly, highly stressed because of something that was going on in your family foundation or something that was going on when it comes to security relationships or what so have you with this four of swords. I mean, four of wands energy now, but like I said, look, nine of cups here at the bottom of the deck. But like I said, with this ace of swords, this is going to trump all of the energy that you just went through and bring in a fresh energy of clarity of truth. This is going to bring in an honest energy of recommitting to new projects to yourself or what so have you okay um let's see what falls under this ace of swords let's see the judgment mm. what else i also feel like i also feel like for some of you guys you guys were in this energy of you couldn't see a way out of something Okay, like you couldn't see a way out of something. So this is why you end up getting stuck in the dark night of the soul energy. You couldn't see a way out. You, hold on. Where is that? The chariot, ooh, the chariot with the death card. This was quick. Like you went through a, a major lesson quick. This is spirit led too. See the death card, the ace of swords, this whole section over here is just livid right now. Okay. Before continuing, what was it that they were learning how to surrender to? What was it that they were learning how to surrender to spirit? What was it that they were learning how to surrender to? Now, this could be energy that you just got out of or energy that you're currently in or energy that's coming towards you. Energy is a fluid, so take it how it resonates, okay? Something that you were learning how to surrender to was opening up your heart. Okay, with the spirit of intimacy here, it says you are ready to let love in, look, and then surrender into unhealthy relationships. So you were going through breakups, separations. You were distancing yourself from people that you really, truly wholeheartedly cared about, but it was causing a lack of insecurity or was causing instability within your foundation. Um, you couldn't really trust them with the ace of swords here. There were a lot of hidden truths. There were a lot of secrets. There were a lot of, uh, I really love you um, saying it, but 
um, the actions just was not meeting up with the words. And that's why the death card was here because the death card had to really show and reveal a lot of things that you were holding on to based on past behavior or past practices, um, just uh, cycles. Uh, that you recreated patterns um, in these relationships and you had to really learn how to let go of the good, the bad and the ugly that you went through with someone and you were you were like kind of disguising the bad with the good based upon your fear of letting them go, okay? <sighs> to see surrender to unhealthy relationships and defensiveness here, you were trying to protect someone that was not healthy for you. And spirit came in and showed you the truth that they they showed you, showed you the true colors or this is them this is spirit showing you their true colors and the only thing you were trying to do was to be there love and support with this surrender to support receiving surrender to receiving support and love and you kept giving to this person and you kept trying to show and prove yourself to this person but in all actuality it was your turn to receive the love and they never gave it to you okay um so this surrender to a healthy relationships you had to learn how to unblock your heart and understand that the relationship that you were in and tied and attached to was toxic. It was a toxic, unhealthy relationship. The bottom of this deck says, let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. And that's something that you had to learn how to do. So if this is something that you're learning how to surrender to, you had to learn how to stop allowing toxic people or unavailable people in your life and understand that in a way you were showing up as unavailable. You were showing up because you were in a situation to where the, the love was unrequited, but your connection to this person couldn't allow you to fully surrender and let this person go, okay? And now defensiveness is here because you will guard and protect your heart from the people who were trying to come in and love you or the people who were trying to come in and help shift and change your perspective. You will become defensive to them, but how you defend yourself in this relationship, you're, you, you wouldn't defend your own self. You were always trying to defend their beliefs and their feelings and their heart. And that's what the lesson with spirit was trying to show you. Like you are constantly trying to show up in this relationship and it's not an equal give and take with the surrender to receive and support and love because this is something that you had to realize like i don't know how to receive love because the love that i've been receiving is toxic so now when somebody tries to give me pure love i kind of run away i push them away i, I shy off i shut down so oh that's deep surrender to complete healing so this is something that you're currently learning how to do you're currently learning how to surrender to the process of letting go especially someone who is no longer in alignment with you okay regardless if you guys were in a relationship marriage long-term commitment um what else is going on here so we have and now and now I feel as though you guys are questioning spirit. When is my person coming in? When is the one for me coming in? I've been through hell and high water. I've been through so much with the seven of seven of seven of wands here. I've been through so much. And I'm I'm tired. I'm tired of this cycle that I've been going through with receiving a love that was unbalanced. And now spirit is like, but you was afraid to let the love go. So how could I send somebody in? How could you 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 weren't? Okay, hold on. Let me see what else is here. Because this Ace of Swords and this Judgment is just speaking values from spirit. Mm-hmm. Give me one more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tower here at the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands. This is very back and forth energy. Trying to be loyal to a commitment and trying to be loyal, honest, and open with a person where the foundation was meant to fall apart. It was meant that was never meant for it, this to be long term or to last, but you kept giving in, you kept going back, you kept offering, you kept trying to show up, you kept trying to pay, you kept trying to do, you kept trying to buy, you kept trying to, you, you just kept trying and it just was not enough. No matter what you did to this person, it was just not enough. Okay. Um, yeah. So that left you in a very in and out back and forth kind of situation, but now Yeah, you guys just went through a transformation. I love this. But so, yeah. So now to see the judgment card here with the Ace of Swords, this is spirit saying like, I had to send you through this lesson. I had to send you back to the past because 
you kind of was working on your healing, but you didn't know what you needed to heal. So it's like you kind of you kind of got used to sweeping things under the rug. So spirit had to pull everything from underneath the rug, and it kind of broke you down because in the foundation of things, it you realized that something was based was not based on truth and honesty, love, honor, and commitment. Somewhere in the foundation of this relationship, you started to realize that someone could have been very money hungry. Someone could have been using you for your money. Someone could have been just taking your riches from you. It doesn't have to be physical money. It could be your energy. Your It could be whatever it is that, that they seen as value to them. They took it from you and kept it as their own and gave you nothing back. But broken love, broken priests, broken promises, they gave you back Um, uh, like their their word was broken. They had no intention, but they wanted to drain them up like a swamp around here okay listen but to see the five of, to see the five of cups the nine of nine of swords with the king of swords here this is something that you had to learn how to cut out okay this is something that you had to learn how to cut out because you were crying over spilled milk when you had opportunities behind you this is missed opportunities at its finest and now you resent this person or you're holding on to resentment from this person but this resent this resentment that you feel should be stemming from yourself but you're putting it on the outside of you this resentment that you feel toward this person or this let down this sad this grief whatever this is this guilt is in the inside of you because you should have known better to choose better because you know you deserve better but somewhere between along the way you allow what you thought was happiness to kind of cloud your judgment temporary happiness will do it to you every time until you can only fake the temporary for so long okay so this is something that you had to learn how to cut out with this king of swords and now and now and now you're finding your truth you were stuck at a path for a very long time here with this King of Swords to the Ace of Swords. But now as Spirit provides clarity, as Spirit shows you the way, as you start to kind of read through the confusion, as you start to really let your guard down and open up your heart and examine your heart for your own self, you start to realize and see that something was never going to work. And I do deserve something that's more loyal and commitment. That's more, lo that's more loyal and honest. In, in in a solid foundation, a solid commitment, as opposed to someone who I have to argue, go back and forth with someone that um, is very in and out in nature here with this knight of, so, knight, of, knight of Wands. Someone was definitely all in their ego. This is egotistical, okay? Someone's definitely all in their ego. But now... What spirit wants you to know that if you recently just went through a breakup or you're going through a breakup or you're thinking about walking away or you're leaving, this is because you're learning how to choose yourself first. And this is because even though you lack within the foundation of this relationship, you can't continue to hold on to something that is not there. You can't. So you have to go invest your pinnacle elsewhere. You have to. 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 Okay? But I feel like spirit is just telling me what the situation is between the two of you guys because I do see a major lesson here. I do see you actually walking away with walking away with your head held high. And yes, there are going to be moments of sadness. But overall, this three of wands, this three of wands to the two of cups, when you're ready to move forward, you're going to go towards a new commitment. But do not self-sabotage this situation based upon what you've been through in the past. That's why this person looks back. You actually have to heal this energy. This seven of swords to the king of swords to me is the eight of swords. And this is also crowning the nine. So you have to be able to not set yourself up for failure mentally based upon what you've been through in your past relationships or some of you guys could have really took a financial blow because the ten of pentacles here with the seven of swords some of you guys could have really took a financial blow or somebody like kind of cheated you out of money or it was something here okay so let's see what does spirit feel like you need to surrender to now in your current moments surrender to rest and sleep now it's time for you to heal and then surrender to your full power your life is calling you to step into your full power rather than playing it small because that's what the lesson was here playing it small doing what's comfortable going back to your comfort zone going back to what you know now you're super tired you're drained fatigue you have anxiety you're up at night you can't sleep and spirit is like it's because you have to shut your mind off and you have to call back your power here with surrender to your full power okay Whoo, baby i love this reading and then you can't let fear hold you back you cannot let fear hold you back you have to accept the situation for what it is why it is and how it is okay 
So if your ancestor guides and angels had to give you a message, whoa, it says believe, believe, okay? The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible, the difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. Let's run it back, okay? The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible, the difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power in your belief. The only way you can take your power back, the only way you can step into your full power is if you believe and know who you are and what you deserve, okay? If you can see clearly what it is you want and don't be afraid to go after it, okay? And this is just not to say like, oh, don't be afraid to go after it, but this is like literally if you believe that you de you deserve happiness don't be afraid to let the things go let the things go that's keeping you from being happy and you have to understand that it's a, when you create space to from when you create space the things that is going to fill that space is going to come in but until you create the space for it it can't it's going to be a blockage every time bottom of the deck also what your ancestor guys want you to know is find your center your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time when the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask when was the last time i checked in with myself okay now, clearly some of you guys are actually going through whatever y'all going through, or you guys just recently got out of something or closing out some cycle or what so have you, um, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So when was the last time you checked in with you? Have you checked in with you lately? Okay. Um, let's pull an ancestor. Let's pull a self-love oracle and get up out of here. Okay. Can I get a self-love oracle for the collective, please? And thank you. Self-love oracle. So it says, no, I don't want it. Okay, I do want it. Lord, compassion is incomplete until it says love all y'all. My bad. Compassion is incomplete until it includes yourself. Release self-judgment, self-punishment, self-loathing, self-sabotage. The reflection of your, of your love begins with you. Okay, let me get one more message for the collective. Can I get a self-love oracle? Please, a message that we haven't gotten. Can I get a self-love oracle, please? And thank you. Whoa. So we have rest one fell on the floor, but so we have forgive and release here. It says when we carry love and forgiveness, we are stronger. We can keep our lessons learned without holding on to past hurts. We can keep our lessons learned without holding on to past hurts. Forgive and release. The forgiveness is for you to free up space, to call back your energy, to no longer allow them to have control over your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. You forgive them, but you don't have to you don't have to deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis. You deal with them how you feel like you got to deal with them. Um based upon where you are on your journey okay conquer fear fell on the floor y'all know i'll take cards off the floor but it says most fear is based on illusions on truths we deny to avoid change release your need to control and perfection doing your best is plenty understand doing your best is plenty and then rest here at the bottom of the deck divine timing is always spot on surrender control and take a break so that's my message for you guys today peace love and abundance teaching every one of you guys Bye, loves.